Welcome to Planet Subaru, one of the largest Subaru showrooms in the world and the first powered entirely by the sun. Today we're going to be talking with RJ Powell, one of the purchase partners at Planet Subaru, about the most up-to-date Starlink infotainment system available in most 2018 and newer Subarus. RJ, thanks for helping us out today. Tell me a little bit first about the HVAC improvements. So in 2018, they're doing a new interface for the climate control. In the past, you had a full LED um, bar here where it displayed temperature, the clock, outside temperature, and all your other functions. In the 2018, they give you a on-off button. Instead, in the past, it was just an off button, and to turn it on was the fan speed button. So now, it's a little bit easier to figure out. You have an on button. Within the dials themselves, this car has dual zone climate control. So each side of the car can set its temperature, as you can see here, it displays right inside the dials. They also moved where the clock is displayed. In the past, it blended in with the temperatures, with the fan speed, and all the other settings, and a lot of people couldn't read it clearly. So now you have the clock and outside temperature completely on their own there, as well as putting it in the center gauge cluster here. Okay, and next we'll be talking about the infotainment system. Subaru has made some changes to their new Starlink infotainment system. Within this 8-inch display that's on this particular Outback, you'll find a few new tiles. The map software has been totally updated, so it's got a new view. The phone integration is even easier with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You can still pair your phone up with Bluetooth, but you can also just plug in your USB wire and right away on your phone you'll see the CarPlay pop up and right on the screen here you'll see the CarPlay square lights up. When I click the CarPlay it's going to give me similar to my home screen on my phone. You have your Siri button here or your home screen. All your contacts and phone calls and recent calls and everything will be right in there. You can uh, for music you can have your Apple Music, you can use Spotify, Pandora. Spotify pops right up. Now if you're in a car that doesn't have built-in navigation like this one, it gives you the ability to use Apple Maps. So now you have navigation built right into your dash instead of having to pay for it or if you're getting a model that doesn't even offer it, you now have the ability to have it here. As you can see, this is Apple Maps right on the screen. plug in a destination somewhat similar to Subaru's but a lot of people are familiar with the Apple Maps and could prefer one system over the other. Back to the home screen of Apple Maps here or of Apple CarPlay you have other music apps and depending on what apps you use often I know you can use Yelp you can use a bunch of other apps um, so it's really opens up the possibilities to do a lot more integration with your phone and instead of people picking up their phone stuff is right here in front of you on the screen passengers can access it easier as well. Back to this screen here, so the media square is going to cover all your different audio inputs. Uh, pretty similar to the old system, but you have CD still. There is still a one CD slot. US, two USB inputs, uh, Bluetooth, auxiliary, so a couple different ways to play your audio. The car info button has uh, got some new changes to it. So driving statistics, this screen is going to give you an idea of which wheels are getting power and traction at any given moment. If a wheel was to slip, it lets you know which wheel was slipping. And then this one is a little bit more of the angle of the vehicle. So if you're at, on a very steep hill or if you're concerned about approach angles, if you're uh, somewhat off-road, it'll give you an idea of what angle the car is currently at. Vehicle monitor gives you a little bit more fuel economy information. It's going to tell you average speed and average fuel economy. And then some new stuff in this maintenance tab is a shortcut to call your dealership or if you have built-in nav you can just click go to your dealership so if you have any issue with the car or if you're trying to set up a service appointment here at planet subaru you can just hit call dealership and depending on which dealerships you have saved in there you can shortcut right to your dealership so thanks for checking out subaru's new starlink infotainment system a new climate control system if you have any questions, please visit us at planetsubaru.com or visit us here in Hanover, Massachusetts.